Silly Little Beaver Children's Books Read Aloud. Oh, Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Hooey. The words in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and backflips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Oh boy. Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine at Finney's Diner. Finney also has some fresher fish that's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is the freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, the finest fish at Finney's is my freshest fish, French fried. So don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fried freshest fish that Finney fries. Woo! We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the bones fall out of his left front shin. Then we have to call him Pinner Blin, who comes with his handy shin pin bin. And with a thin Blin shin bone pin, Blin pins Din's shin bones right back in. Bed spreaders spread spreads on beds. Bed spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader better watch out how he's spreading, or that bread spreader's sure going to get butter his bedding. As he gobbled up the cakes on his plate, the greedy ape said as he ate, the greener green grapes are, the keener keen apes are, to gobble green grape cakes. They're great. Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in the mirror and see what I say. And then I just say what I see. Hmm, that sounds interesting, kids. You should leave your Grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your Grox must be packed and locked up in a Grox box, which costs much, much more than a single old Fox box. So it's heaps a lot cheaper to fly with your Foxes than waste all that money on boxes for Groxes. And what do you think costs more? A simple thimble or a single shingle? Hmm. A simple thimble could cost less than a single shingle would, I guess. So I think that the single shingle should cost more than the simple thimble would. Hmm. I wonder which one costs more. If you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships, I suggest that you chew a few chips and a chop at Skinner Zip's Clipper Ship Chip Chop Shop. And if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. Huh. I hope so. I hope so, kids. There are so many things that you really should know. And that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnutter Brothers who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud, and Skipper and Jipper, and Jeffrey and Judd, Horatio, Horace, and Hendrix and Hud, and then come Dinwoody and Dinty the Dud. Also Fitzsimmon and Frederick the Fud, and Slinky and Stinky and Stuart and Stud, and down at the bottom, is poor little Lud. But if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Uh-oh. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. 
And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our black duck quickly quacks quacks back. The quacks, blue quacks, make her quite a quacker. But black is a quicker quacker backer. And speaking of quacks, reminds me of cracks and stacks and sacks and shacks and snacks. Oh, you say, can you say, I have cracks in my shack. I have smoke in my stack. And I think there's a snack in the sack on my back. Ooh, there's a snack right there, kids. Huh. I was wondering what that was. Upon an island, hard to reach, the east beast sits upon his beach. Upon the west beach sits the west beast. Each beach beast thinks he's the best beast. Which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the east was best and the west was worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east. And I like the beast on the East Beast least. Pete Briggs pats pigs. Briggs pats pink pigs. Briggs pats big pigs. Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me why, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his padded pigs away. In his Pete Briggs Pink Pigs Big Pigs Pig Pen. Fritz needs Fred and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz needs Fred and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz Fred Fred. Well, the glots, you will notice, has lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. So, you first have to spot who the one with the dots is, then it's easy to tell who the clots or the glots is. Hmm, I can't decide the difference. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cop in a cop's cap? Or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap? Or a fat flap jack flapper in a flat flapped jack cap? Or if you think you don't like cop's caps, flap jack flappers, or cupcake cook's caps, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes kooky captain's caps perhaps that is a cool cap more about blim well when blim comes home tired from his work pinning shins the happiest hour of old blim's day begins mr blim is a father of musical twins who tucking twin instruments under twin chins lull their daddy to sleep with twin blin violins oh, and oh say can you say far away in berlin a musical urchin named gretchen von schwinn has a blue-footed true-footed trick-fingered slick-fingered six-fingered six-stringed tin schwinn mandolin Wow, that looks fun. If anybody's watching from Berlin, tell me if you've seen that in the comments. Rope soap, hoop soap. If you hope to wash soup off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope 
Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to wash soup off a hoop, I suggest that it's best to let your whole silly souped up hoop soak in Soapy Cooper's Super Soup Off Hooks Soak Suds. Hmm. Once a year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush to Munch. But I don't think you'd care for such. We didn't like to munch much munch. And speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of Slim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night, the gift for Dwight that might be right is a bright Dwight bird flight night sight light. Hmm. But never give your daddy a walrus. A walrus with, with whiskers is not a good pet. And a walrus which whispers is worse even yet. When a walrus lisps, whispers, through tough, rough, wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get blispers and bliskers. And that's almost enough of such stuff for one day. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. Whew, that was amazing, kids. Thank you so much for watching. The end. Thank you so much for going on that adventure with me. Please be sure to comment with your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm going to find something to eat now. Bye-bye. <laughs>